Hello everyone and welcome back, <clears throat> excuse me, to the channel. That channel is Dev Chanel's For This World. And yes, I'm coming back with my last video for tonight. And hopefully you all like it when you get a chance to see it. But thank you for coming to the channel and thank you for, scribe, for subscribing to the channel, okay? And um, happy holidays to you all as well. But let's get on into the subject. Mm-hmm. We got one coming from Radar Online. And child and Real Housewives of Atlanta are banging it out. They are coming strong. Do you hear me? On these social media streets trying to amp up their show. So they definitely, defi uh, definitely can have a season 13. And they are being asked to come back. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Okay, now I'm talking about Nene Leeds. I'm talking about Portia Williams, Kenya Moore, and Cynthia Bailey. Okay, because Candy brings a lot of uh, somewhat bone carrying type of information, and she brings uh, a little bit more to the plate. She's one of the neutral people that have definitely a good storyline when it comes to her husband. Tucker, so they definitely want to keep her. She's a, 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 you know, if you had to like pick who's coming back for a show and who's coming back, you know, but we need to tweak some things and who's we're thinking about not bringing back, but they're iffy. We might need them just to have the filler type of information. But Candy always, uh, in my eyes, going to be on that. We definitely bringing her back. <laughs> type of scenario because she got her own little thing going on on her own youtube platform and she's driving people over there making them want to see her over there and then want her to want to be seen on the bravo uh, entertainment forefront as well so she's keeping her name relevant out there that's why she started her uh, youtube channel and i'm pretty sure she's just using it as a platform uh for a negotiation tool of her hosting her own show even though it's on youtube it's still a show and depending on who you are interviewing and, and what tea you dropping that counts at the table when you're going there to bargain bargain yeah bargain bargain what is it bar bargaining your worth uh when it comes to the networks and how they see you and um do they see you as bringing them revenue and do you come with numbers of people saying they have a strong likability of watching you uh, on any type of facet or whatever you're doing. They just love watching you. So why not have Candy back? All right. Well, let's go on to this article. Yes, honey. Let me see if they give us anybody. I guess it's just the columnless uh, com uh, common correspondent over there. Uh, just writing the story because they don't give anybody's name, claim to fame, that we can just say salute and say thank you for your salacious story or your top trending story story that is hitting the social media waves heavily. But again, like I said, it comes from RadarOnline.com. Uh, it's on their reality TV series uh, section. And it's titled, Real Housewives of Atlanta Fighting Explodes. Or explodes, like some people like to say. Kenya, Portia, and Cynthia are amping up the drama. It was released on uh, December 19th, which is today. And um, I don't know. Was it Eastern Standard Time Zone? It really doesn't really matter. And it does it. Okay, my phone is acting up again. Okay, it goes on to say battles blows up between the ladies to guarantee their jobs. See what I'm saying? They have to either manufacture some storylines or embellish them or, or like some true storylines, but they're kind of boring, but they have to embellish them to make them worthy of people trying to hold a minute or two, at least five minutes or are you doing good when somebody's watching your video or commentary from the beginning to the end, okay? And even looking at them little commercials that's in between them, all right? But anyway, anyway it just goes on to say, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Atlanta drama pays. Yes, it do. If you're not bringing drama, you being boring like a little leaf hanging on a tree waiting to fall, then you ain't pretty much going to be bad or you're going to be deemed... Uh, really thought upon on whether we want to bring you back and then whoa 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 is you 
or how you're going to keep up with your lifestyle unless you've been investing very well. But we know each and every one of you ladies that are currently on the show don't want to leave. You'll probably protest real hard if they were trying to say they ain't want to bring you back. Or they pretty much had to not give you a letter but have you come in additionally and kind of audition yourself again of why we should keep you. Now, ain't that embarrassing? I'm pretty sure Cynthia probably has gotten many callbacks to say, Cynthia, why should we keep you, baby? <laughs> So maybe she is actually taking one of Kenya's plays out of her playbook and just solidifying herself with Mike Hill to give a storyline to make Cynthia a little bit more interesting. I'm just saying, I don't know. We'll see what happens in October of 2020. Wink, wink. You know what I'm saying? Well, that marriage would be... um. If she would be hitched by then, in other words. Okay, it goes in to say the Real Housewives of Atlanta fights are exploding and the drama is guaranteeing the ladies another season. Radar, RadarOnline.com exclusively learned. The leader of the antics on the hit Bravo show has been Marlo Hampton who may finally get to hold a peach after nine years of just being a friend. Marlo, jo uh, Marlo just knows how to stir up trouble on the show. And Insider told Radar she is in the running to becoming a full-time housewife. Okay, now I want to know. I know I'm is it Potomac. Oh, is it Married to Medicine? They have eight uh, cast members, but I've been noticing Bravo, uh, when it comes to Real Housewives of Atlanta, they've been holding down on the six. So I wonder who they, to bring uh, Marlo in as a full-time peach holder, who they trying to get rid of, y'all? Is it Eva Marcel or is it Cynthia Bailey? Well, it can't be really Cynthia Bailey because they're supposed to be upping her nuptials that are coming up along with uh, Portia Williams. And, you know, they have to bring us some drama piece by piece but they need to bring drama and really Eva ain't really doing that Cynthia ain't really doing that either so it's a toss of the coin but I guess if I had to choose between the two I would more than likely choose Cynthia only because she's been with the show for so long and I don't know I just feel sorry for her. <laughs> Okay, I just feel sorry for Cynthia because she definitely been trying to be out in them streets showing her assets, her little ditty witties, you know what I'm saying? Because she used to be so conservative and dressed appropriately for her age or, you know, show a little but not a lot, you know what I'm saying? But now it's just like it's all hanging out, you know what I'm saying? She's really thirsting around now. She wants to be seen and she wants to be seen as somebody's fiance and hopefully um, wife sooner, better than later. Okay, it's like she's already done pick her little spots of when things are supposed to happen and they happen in that fashion that's why i said i can't really believe cynthia is really marrying mike for love and then again maybe she is because she's shallow like that but mm, my question my question and, and and my respectability of mike hill loving on her the way cynthia is trying to love on him they ain't reciprocated. I'm sorry. I just don't see it. I see it as a power move. But anyway, going back to the article, it says um, the leader of the antics on the show is Marlo Hampton. She's been there with them for nine years. And outright, if they have forgiven her uh, solely and put it in the past and never brings it up again. The eager word she called herself, the agate word she was using. So hopefully if they, she's redeemed herself, they've forgiven her. She says she was sorry, this, that, and the third. And it is what it is. Let's move on, okay? But uh, anyway, it goes on to, in the article, it says, Marlo, uh, uh, nicknamed the Bone Collector. Uh, she never shied away from a fight, not even with Nene Leakes. And that's true, hon. That's why I said, hmm, she might be taking your place, Nene. I don't know. You can go and negotiate. I don't care how many years on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But if the show is tanking in results, driven, uh, drama field on your part, if it's lacking, I'm sure they can renew that contract, honey. It's a clause in there somewhere. Just so you, just because you may have inked the deal that you're gu guaranteed a spot for two more, two more uh, seasons or whatnot, or three more seasons, honey. Let them ratings go down, and you're because of it. 
them pens and and and, and inks will acrylic um clearly disappear like they were writing with that funny ink and make like it ain't never been seen if they said they were going to guarantee you a spot regardless if the ratings are dropping or escalating child it don't matter Runner, m revenue runs that show and greed okay um drama as well but it goes on to say Marlo is full-time drama and she is getting recognized for it, okay? The highly paid ladies were all given raises for season 12 and they were delivering the storylines that made the show the highest ranking rated TV program on the network, okay? Cynthia Bailey has the last. Wait a minute, Cynthia Bailey was the last to receive her pickup letter last season, and she's become much more dramatic this season, the source told Radar exclusively. Yes, I bet if she was the last, because she made us have a snooze fest over here, we were like, oh, okay, she gone. <laughs> That's how we were. We weren't impressed. We weren't bothered. She wasn't giving us anything, but really to pick on Cynthia at this time, since they don't have her own... Uh, for so long, more than nine seasons, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I guess we would miss her in some form or fashion. I'd rather see her, like I said, than the lesser evil, which is, um, what's her name? Eva Marcel. I'd rather see Cynthia all day, every day, than put up with Eva's antics and her, uh, backpedaling and not saying, Oh, well, I didn't say it that way, or if I said it, I didn't mean it that way, or, you know, just especially that nappy-headed comment. I'm like, I'm still ain't over that one, okay? But anyway, um, my sidebar, going back to the article, it said, um, Cynthia has really had some great moments this season. Everyone likes it, revealed the snitch. Her engagement and her fights are driving the drama. Radar revealed that Portia got a raise too, earning a whopping $1.3 million for the season. Portia Williams makes more and she's delivering more, the insider explains. Portia has shared every single part of her breakup with Dennis and then them getting back together. She doesn't hide anything and the show executives love that, the source confirmed. Uh, after a while, Kenya Moore was fired the previous season. She returned to Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, with a $1 million pay cut. Kenya took a huge pay cut to come back. She's at her old dramatic self and third of the price. At third of the price. She's ranking gold as a great bargain. The insider told Radar. Scroll. Okay, and it's asking us to scroll through the, um, the gallery. But again, it's on Radar. Uh, online.com and the reality TV section. If you want to go over there and see it, it's there. Okay, but then they talk about the ATL queen. Okay, now, which is Nene. All right, Nene is the highest paid housewife on Bravo and she inked a three year, $2.85 million deal. Radar previously reported her constant drama with the ladies guaranteed her place on the hit Bravo show. Fresh face. We're talking about everyone's frenemy. That's Marlo Hampton. Marlo earned three hundred thousand for season twelve. Producers were pleased with her actions on the show and were considering her for full time. A source confirmed to Radar. Uh, they're going with heartbreak as a subtitle. Poor shus baby daddy Dennis McKinley admitted he cheated on her after their baby daughter uh, Pillar was born third bride they're talking about tanya sams she wants to get married on the show an insider told radar but portia and cynthia are getting married too so that may not happen okay so tanya you better wait till season 14 and show us something okay it ain't nothing but another year you don't wait it this long go on and get your royalties and let bravo pay for it baby so hold out for the big payout all right i'm just saying then we got another subtitle it says stepping up Cynthia's drama was delivered after she signed her new $1.8 million contract. She got engaged, argued with Nene, and sided with Kenya in an attempt to keep her job. Okay, so, um, Miss Cynthia over there turning tricks, huh? <laughs> She's starting in and everything to secure her spot. So, see, these ladies, they know where their bread and butter are at. They ain't trying to leave Bravo for no reason at all, no time soon, okay? I'm pretty sure Bravo's going to have to say, we don't want you no more, baby. Your time is up. Proceed 
and um we wish you well because they ain't leaving this show honey that's revenue inside and out and exposure for any type of um product that they want to endorse or sell on their own okay so yes it's washes one hand washes the other now we go to the riches okay we got candy burris uh, she is worth a whopping forty million from her days in the girl group Escape. She earned two point three million for season twelve. Then we got Kenya Moore, divorce cash. Kenya's secret marriage got her booted from the show, but her divorce may be what ended up helping her keep her job. The source told Radar. Okay, so that's all. Let's get on the most players or the best players in the game. Um. Uh, that they want to give us a little insight on okay i'm really wondering is it going to be something true to fame that marlo is going to come on board like i say i would love to see that line up honey and see how nene fares with her especially when marlo done showed everybody countless times as she has been on this show she will be in nene's corner but again, well, it ain't allegedly it's true. She's a friend of the show. So she needs, she's playing chess now. Ne uh, Nene been playing checkers over there for a minute. Then she called herself hooking up with Marlo, getting into her circle of friends or who she flunk with, you know, on the down low, who she really hang out with. And she's showing her new and extraordinary things or how to get money. Okay, besides getting that Bravo money and the rub elbows with some rich and influent elite people. Yes, Marlo been all around in that crowd because you know she was a call girl just what the streets are saying i don't know she was a high price one at that okay so she's been around okay and it ain't been with no slimy people so they've been teaching her the final things of life if you get my drill mm -hmm. wink wink all right so nene trying to partake in all of that and try to culture her or culturize herself in that way of living. You see what I'm saying? So she need Marlo. Marlo don't need Nene. So it'll be very interesting to see how the tides would turn if Marlo came on there as a full-time peach holder. Okay? Because Marlo can stand alone. And she can take with any and everybody. She will fit in where she can get in. Okay? And she will make her well... Uh, antics known all right just like kenya moore that that, that they cut from the same cloth child <laughs> she would do whatever she has to do to bring the drama to the streets and people calling out her name so nene girl i don't know you you sitting you slipping because i've been took your car and i ain't been wanting to give it back to you not this year not gonna happen hopefully you'll get it back by the summertime but it ain't looking good especially Especially if they bring Marlo Hampton into the thing. Because she don't back away. She don't run. She sit down until everybody done left her at the table. Okay, or on the sofa or the event period. She going to be there, honey. She going to start it. She going to finish it. And she going to sit there and wait for anybody that want to come back and get a replay on it. Okay. She ain't like you, Nene. She don't get up and like, ooh, my aura is messed up. Ooh, I can't take it. Ooh, I'm finna fall out. You know what I'm saying? They want people to play up to her and, 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 and pamper her and say, what? Whoa, 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 whoa is Nene. Whoa is Nene. Let's all get together and, and, and embrace her and get the sisterhood stuff going. Marlo said, I ain't nothing going on but the rent over here. If you ain't bringing the drama, if you ain't bringing me a nice bottle of champagne, wine, or whatever, ain't nothing going on but the bag over here because finance pays real well. Drama without payment. It ain't for me. I can't get into it. I don't know that type of life. <laughs> Milo is my girl, okay? But anyway, that's all I have for this video. Y'all check it out. Get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about the subject matter, okay? And what's going on and who getting paid and why they getting paid and how long they getting paid, okay? We're going to see. We're going to see, honey. And like I said, it's all allegedly. We really don't know unless we're looking at the ink dry of the signature they done signed off with true entertainment and we are capable of seeing and hearing the denominations of what they're getting paid so only it's only between them and true entertainment and the lower other than that we really don't know but honey i don't think i said they don't struck it it's gold for them but like i said all that shines ain't gold all that glitters ain't worth it not when you have to sell your soul to do it, okay? You have to sell your ethics, your compassion, your character, just for a dollar. Mm -mm. 
but these women love it. They love it. They wouldn't have it any other way. They want to be on TV. They want to be seen. They want to take this platform, elevate their revenue streams here, there, and everywhere. Okay? But the people that I see that is truly winning, I'm still on. Uh, I'm finna say Kim Kardashian, Lord. I'm talking about Kim Zosie at Berman over there. She is holding down Tartar with the party. You know what I'm saying? And she ain't got to argue with nobody. Don't have to take anybody in. Don't have to take anybody energy that ain't uh, relating to hers as positive. She ought to be fooling with nobody. She, she didn't even go on any trips with the ladies. That's how uh, Kim uh, Zozette was running, so I'm still impressed with her. Go watch her, guys. See what she doing over there, okay? Because she doing that darn thing. But anyway, that's all I had. I'm getting sleepy now. I will see y'all next video. And we will continue to rock this thing for the holidays. Because like I said, I'm slid into my supplement income full-time job. I ain't working, y'all. I'm out for the holidays, and I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. All right, but y'all be easy breezy, as my daughter say, and I'll get with you on the one tweezy. Uh, sometime, y'all will get another video. Several videos will be coming out. But y'all have uh, peace. Y'all be relaxed, and I will catch y'all next video. And don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share and like my videos. Share and like my videos, but don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.